all right video ended there guys my bad um I don't know what maximum brightness saturation adjustment I like I do like high saturation but I think it's good all right I hope playing in HDR doesn't affect the recording of it like I hope it doesn't look weird on the recording you know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat under the bridge we just got orders to guard it mm. security's getting tight war will be upon us very soon okay so we got some weird weird old thing right here now I do remember if you ledge hang right here yes go ahead and get a sneak attack on this guy what is he even doing he's just digging on the wood like what the fuck and you are done oh what the oh there's there's lizards All right, so I think I just messed up because I think I have to go all the way back around the bridge now. Okay. Okay, so square when you're hanging to just climb. Because I jumped and it like threw me off. Okay, drop down. Get the item. Another pellet, very nice. And then this, I believe, is where we need to be. Oh, hey, look. You can see a sculptor's idol, but it's like it's not lit or anything. All right, inspect. This appears to be the escape route. Call the divine air with the reed whistle. Yes. What's that sound? Wolf, you found it. Oh, that's the fire. Like right if you have headphones on, right now, in the right ear. Oh yeah, it's that fire right there. Yes, my lord. Damn, that sounds legit. Like you can legitly hear the cracking of the wood. To think that this is the only way to run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. Well, my guy. We do what we do. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. Let's go to the Bahamas, my guy. Let's get out of this snowy... I mean, it's kind of beautiful in its own way. Now, this part... I'm gonna just go ahead and say it right now. I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me. But let's go into this beautiful. Oh, look at that, dude. So Bloodborne esque. The final fight in Bloodborne when you fight. Uh, I was about to say Father Gascoin. When you fight um, Garmin, the final boss in in Bloodborne you you're like in the white flower field that's what it reminds me of the divine air last we stood together was your uncle's funeral Lord Genichiro Genichiro. I... Oh, 
I'm like, nah, homie, we're gonna have to handle this. Thank you. Leave that's, this to me. That's so sick. Like, he didn't have to say anything. He was just like, look, this, this dude's gonna stand in our way. Oh man, I'm so sad because I love I love this fight. I love fighting Genichiro in this game, but it's been so long. I'm I'm so gonna get stands in our way. I'm gonna get so wrecked. All right, my guy. Ooh, I actually got it. Oh, I don't have... Oh, I tried to... Okay. Oh, his postures, his postures. Oh, my posture. Oh, I tried to do it again. I don't have. Oh, woo! Oh my God. That's a grab. I, I don't even know how... Ooh, barely got out of that. Aw, oh, you bitch. Yeah, we did, we did all right. We were, we were... Yep. And there goes the arm. Could you imagine getting your arm cut off, bro? Like, oof. I feel like we did pretty well for not playing not have played this game in about a year and a half. We were we were dancing with him for a minute. Shinobi has to offer. The divine heir will be coming with me. Yeah, whatever, dude. Fucking douchebag. <laughs> then it starts raining. Just left my ass there, man. Like, like let me bleed out, basically. That's what he. That's what he just did. He's just like, yeah, dude. Freaking dickhead Genichiro. Still cannot for the life of me understand how this prosthetic works. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. Shadows die twice, baby. Shinobi prosthetic. The artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor, a replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of me mechanisms, apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. So, like I was just saying, I don't... Wait, what are these purple things? What the hell? 30 seconds. View remnant. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's other players. I forgot. Yeah. Damn, that's how long it's been. Last time I played this, because there was like an update that added online and stuff. Not like playing online, but like, like, like you could see what people are doing in other worlds and stuff. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't understand how this prosthetic works because it literally moves like his fingers move and everything like a real arm but it's like it's old school it's made out of like fucking rope and wood and shit like that like it's not even electronic so i don't get how it moves and all that but anyways so we got our arm cut off we're left in the battlefield and somehow came back here assuming this guy picked us up off the battlefield and uh yeah, so let's see what this is. You see the kind faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him. Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. The detail on his face right there is pretty nice. Alright, let's talk to him. What do you call yourself? Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. All right, ask how you got here. All right, we could ask on how, yeah, how did we get here? Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <laughs> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. Hmm, so he's kind of hinting at something there that I'm not going to spoil, obviously, but... But, um... So yeah, he, it's kind of weird because he never leaves this hub area throughout the entire game. Well, I mean, he does at one point, but I'm not going to spoil that. Um, but somehow he was just out and about, I guess, that night and discovered me wherever I was in the world. And yeah, obviously plot, but... Um, so we asked how we got here. He said something about the blood, so let's ask about that. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. Okay, so saying someone's after his blood, basically. Um, let's ask about the arm. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I've said too much. Go now. All right, so that's what I was kind You're of quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. 
to strangers in strange circumstances, you two might get along. All right, so like I was saying, there's no, you don't ever change your actual main weapon in this game. You always have your katana, but you do get prosthetic tools for your prosthesis arm. Ah, good old dilapidated temple um, that you can fit in and out. Item, you say? That's cool. Yeah, so if you go back here, there's, yeah. A light coin purse. A purse filled with a small amount of sin. It can be used to acquire the sin inside. Has a somewhat satisfying weight to it. The sin in this purse is not lost upon death. So that's kind of, in a way, like your poppable souls and your poppable blood echoes and runes in the game. Um... Remnants shinobi can leave behind shadows of their paths past actions known as remnants Remnants are left to discipline one's peers. Some are masters of the way Ahead others provoke sporting rivalries to open remnants menu. No network connection required to leave remnants All right, we got an item right here More pellets could always use more pellets Um. Now he did say wait, what's over here? Oh yeah, okay. That's uh that's for later, I think. I remember. He did say to the right there was a guy. But I don't I'm not really going to bother with that cuz that's just going to take up a lot of time. Um we haven't really done much already, so and it's we're already in the second part or the second episode. But yeah, we got this guy over here and he's basically like your trainer like to teach you how the mechanics of the of the game work and stuff but I kinda already know that stuff so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and rest at this sculptor's idol sculptor's idol menu sculptor's idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina resting at a sculptor's idol will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection additionally quick items and spirit emblems in storage will be added to your current inventory with some exceptions resting will also revive defeated enemies so basically any enemies that are just your normal basic enemies besides like your mini bosses and your real bosses are going to be revived just like it is in dark souls so let's go ahead and just rest just because that's so cool and yes, now we have our waifu. The most prettiest. Truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. Prettiest waifu in the game, I think, or in from house. software. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. So what I mean by the prettiest waifu, um... Pretty much every Souls game has a waifu. So, like, Dark Souls 1, I think, was... I mean, actually, we gotta start with Demon Souls, I guess. So, Demon Souls, you got the Candle Maiden girl that has, like, the wax over her eyes and her feet are, are exposed. That's your first waifu. Then in Dark Souls 1, I'm pretty sure... I mean, you don't really have a waifu in Dark Souls 1, but... I guess Anastasia is your first your bond your bonfire keeper at in Fire League is kind of like the wife And in Dark Souls 2 you have the Emerald Herald and in Dark Souls 3 you got the uh, I Don't even know what she's called in Dark Souls 3 She's just the fire keeper um, And then Bloodborne you got the doll and then Elden Ring you have kind of Mel Melina but I think, um, I think Emma is definitely the prettiest and most elegant 
and I love her outfit so nice um so present the healing gourd she said she's the one that created it you made this gourd yes it was intended for Lord Kuro but it seems he entrusted it to you I'm sure you may have noticed but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own even after being emptied you will find it full again after a short rest yes is there a way to improve it bring me gourd seeds gourd seeds yes medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters if you find any bring them to me all right okay so she said to improve our number uses or whatever to uh bring her some gourd seeds i'd like to make a request what is it please show me your face what hmm. this white mark is it a birthmark no then that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage or perhaps it's a symptom hmm. are you done yes that will be all i'm sorry that was rather rude of me see china's so elegant like that was not rude in america if you just ask to touch someone's face and they tell you and they don't say anything they're like yeah sure like you don't got to be like oh i'm sorry that was rude of me but in china like in province provinces and stuff like that they they i guess that's the disrespect or something so it's not a birthmark then that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage or perhaps it's a symptom huh. i still don't understand the particulars but it appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world come and see me if you notice anything alarming, I will. I still don't understand. All right. Come and see. I will. So to make sure we exhaust her dialogue. Goodbye. Okay, so now we can actually move on. We only have one heal, and then we got some pellets. Um, and then we need to go this way. Grappling hook, the shinobi prosthetic. Oh yeah, I've almost, I almost completely forgot about this. This was such a cool thing when it first came, when I, when the game first came out. Just the traversal that it allowed for. I mean, Elden Ring took it to the next level, obviously, with traversal because you can jump and stuff like that. But this is this is cool. So the shinobi prosthetics grappling hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are designated with a circular symbol. When this symbol turns green, the grapple point is within reach. And it's L2 to grapple. Because obviously if we go over here, the bridge is out. So we have to go this way. And then here is the beautiful view. I kind of want to get like a screenshot. Like with the sun in the background. There we go. So I can put it as my thumbnail on my video. But anyways, we are in the Ashina outskirts as you just saw. And that's the castle that we were at earlier. And we got our first sculptor's idol. You can now instantly travel between sculptor's idols that have already been communed with travel can be ac accessed via the sculptor's idol travel menu so yeah you can pretty much instantly travel in this game um which i think is pretty funny because i think it would have been it would have been pretty obnoxious if uh 
they decided to go with like a Dark Souls 1 approach where you have to like run between each um, each bonfire which just like man in this game oh god all right there's an item right here Ungo's sugar sugar candy made in Senpu temple Sustaining Ungo's blessing temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpo monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of her military heroes. Alright, so this dude noticed me like a freaking dick. Or did he? Oh! Acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from some distance away. Items found in the world are different than loot in that they must be approached to be picked up. Press and hold square to acquire loot. Press near world item to pick up item. So basically every enemy drops some sen. And they also have a chance of dropping... Um materials or something like that now oh, this guy right here pretty sure we can plunge attack yep get plunged boy like it's so weird like why why are all these guys out here on the outskirts like this like there's nothing out here Ceramic shard Piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown throw at an enemy to draw their attention Throwing and smashing such pieces made by a popular made for a popular sport amongst Ashina boys even after growing up They remember the old games well Hello Nice all right, I'm getting more. I'm getting more used to it now. I could have sworn there's a guy that comes and stands over here. Oh, yep, I can hear him. You're about to get fucking shank shanked, bro. How you doing? Shank shank, dog. Ooh. Alright, we've got a guy up here. There's another guy up there, actually. But we can stealth around them. Didn't even know what hit him. Alright, now for this boy. Nice. Now we can get all the stuff. Okay. Item. Another Ungo Sugar. We already read that, so we don't need to read it again. I remember my first playthrough, I didn't do stealth at all. Like, at all. I never did stealth. Okay, yeah, we got dogs over here. Let's let's go up. I saw a guy over here. There he is. Time to die. Another ceramic shard. And also oh there's a lead there's a ledge right here. What the hell? Oh, I don't think I've ever gotten What is this? Echo sugar. Ooh. Sugar candy made in simple tempo, sustaining echo sugar, boosts attack power for a time. Body excess karma won my bite down hard on candy that has brought to pass. So, increases attack power for a little bit. 